Let them your name today, Lord. Let us, Lord, be seen as your children who go out doing your work. A child came to us today, Lord, and blessed us with a little yeah. We ask you to bless him, Lord, yeah. his mom, and yeah. his family. Yeah. We thank you, Father, for this day. Day we've never seen before and we'll never see again. Yes. We give everything to you, Lord. All of our sickness, all of our problems, all of our, our worries and cares. Yes. Yes. For we hope in nothing less than Jesus Christ and his righteousness. Thank you, Father. Thank Bless you. us and keep us. Bless all of those who are working in the service, Lord, of Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. Bless all those, Lord, who are at war, yes. rumors of war. Go around the world, Lord, and touch all those who are trying to worship you today. Yes. Lord, you can answer and do all things. We, we are just in the human. Yes. But you, Lord, are able yes. to do more things than we could ever imagine. Yes. No trouble in our way, Lord, when we got you. Yes. And we give it all to you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Father. This day. this day. In Jesus' name, we Jesus use Thank you for your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, In Jesus we all say amen. 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 We're going to have a selection.
close to the brokenhearted yes. and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray. Lord, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. This, Lord, is your season you've given us the blessing of the world. And we take it not lightly, Lord, yes. because you reached out from your bosom and gave us yes. your darling son. And on the day that we celebrate yes. Yes. his birth, yes. the world has never been the same. Yes. So all we can do, Lord, is look up and say hallelujah. Thank you for being so good and so kind yes. and sinners yes. like us yes. and giving us a tree yes. to the righteousness that you are yes. through your darling son, Jesus. Yes. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. When he said, no man cometh unto me yes. except yes. through Jesus. Then, Lord, may the words of my mouth yes, yes. and the meditations of my heart yes, yes. be acceptable yes. in my sight. Yes. Oh, yes. Lord, my strength yes. and my redeemer. Yes. In Jesus' name we yes. pray. Yes. We all say amen. Yes. Amen. amen. Today I want to talk about breaking the cycle. I want to talk about breaking the cycle of healing from abuse. Healing from abuse. Somebody said to me the other day that abused people abuse people. And then when it hit me, I said, we got to heal from the abuse of people. Yes. And no demon bothering you and abusing you. And no spirit coming around abusing you. You know what's abusing you? Other people. They have abused you so much that you want to give up. Oh, y'all, come on with me. No truth. You want to give up. Today, we, we, we gather to reflect on that topic that touches the deepest parts of our souls, abuse. How do we heal from abuse, Pastor? In a world where scars often remain unseen, where wounds aren't always visible to the naked eye. The scars that we and you have, you, you don't see them all, but we do know they're there. Sometimes they, they, they make us feel so bad that, that we don't even want to talk to anybody. We want to close the door. And we turn to the words of Psalm 34 and 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. There's one time I must tell you all, I, I don't think I've ever mentioned it before. I was a young boy, and my mother was taking me on a trip. I was no older than our young man who came up today. Yeah. My mom said, well, I, I can't go in the bathroom with you, Dave, but, but go in there and, and come out quickly. 
went into the bathroom. And in the bathroom was a man who grabbed me, kissed me, fondled, did all kinds of things that weren't good, and I, I was getting ready to scream, and he ran out. Abused. I was abused. Was. My mother, when I came out, mommy, mommy, I'm crying. She went and told the police, but the man was gone. Mm -hmm. No cameras at that time. That's right. and, and, and in that scar, it always lingers when I walk into a bathroom. I don't know why. And the scars that we have linger with us, and we don't tell people about them. You know that's right. You know that's right. They, 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 they stab us, yes. and, and they, they whisper in our ear, yes, this happened to you. Yes, you, you've been abused. Yes, and sometimes you just want to cry uh -huh. exactly. and give up. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Our spirits get crushed from the abuse. Here's a story. You know, I like to write stories with my sermons. Stories about Stella. It's not how Stella got her groove back. Even though it is in that. She's a warm and caring young lady. Part of her is still shiny. She has the golden rays that, that people like to see. She's, she's a wonderful, charming person on the outside. Yes. And like all of us, behind her gentle demeanor, there lays that hidden pain. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yes. It's a shadow cast by the haunting memories of a, a stormy past. Stella has weathered the storm of abuse from her previous husband. Enduring his cruel bid to control her, he would lash out at her daily and, and discard her, not just her body, but also her spirit. Many of you know about abused women. Abused people in marriages, sometimes men get abused. That's right. Here is Stella. She has been beaten down. And, and the beat is like a glue stick to the depths of her soul. And she doesn't know what to do anymore. So she leaves this man. But out of that, the echoes of the harsh words and the, the hurtful actions, they still linger with them, like ghostly whispers linger in us when we are abused by people that just sometimes never leaves us. Yes. 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 yes, only God. Then in the chambers of our hearts and her suffering, she began down the path of abusing herself. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. You, you, you start thinking that you're not worthy to be loved. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You're not worthy to have somebody uh, deserving of you. You're not worthy. You don't deserve these things anymore. You might start drinking and drugging and, and being in the wrong relationships. And, and here was Stella headed down that path. Yes. And then it was still a flicker of spiritual love inside her. She said, I'm going to go to therapy. Uh -huh. You don't know how therapy is? Mm -hmm. Sit on the couch. Uh -huh. Then you, you, you get the, the medication. Oh, you, you got a depression. Here's the medication. Yeah. Now she's depressed and in medication. Yeah. Drinking. Medication. Nothing. After a while, the glimmer started to leave. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? After a while, you don't even smile as much. Right. After a while, you, you don't want to be bothered anymore. Just get away from me. 
People come smiling at you. What, what do you want? Your, your glow has left. And one day she's sitting down and she's listening to uh, TV and, and she hears a song from this church. And, and, and in the, the, the church, she hears the pastor say, I want y'all to come on out and, and come to church sometime. She said, I done tried everything else. She said, why not? She goes and she sits down at the church's back. And the pastor stands up and he says, today I want to talk about healing from abuse. She looks around. Is he talking to me? He, what? You, 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 how do you know what I'm going through, mister? And everybody is ear bent, and, and then he starts. The preacher, his voice carries that weight of compassion and understanding. He speaks of wounds inflicted by abuse. He talks about profound resilience that you need. He talks about uh, the human spirit. He talks about how good God has been. Then he talks about how bad abuse is to everybody. Then all of a sudden he points his finger and it seems like he's pointing directly at Stella. And he says, you can get it together, but you got to give it to God. Yeah. And Stella's looking around and he's talking to me. Mm -hmm. Then he leaves and he stands up and, and these words are scripture and everything, they, they soothe her more than any type of therapy, more than any type of drug, more than any type of liquor, more than any type of relationship, more than any type of thing she's ever gone through, they soothe her. Stella starts yelling and screaming at the end of, thank you, thank you. She, she don't know what came over her. It's the goodness of God. It's called hope for a better tomorrow. It's called a glimmer of possibilities. The preacher's sermon stitched together the fragments of her shattered self-esteem. You are good enough, Stella. You are good enough. You can do it. You are God's child. Then all of a sudden, as the sermon is over, and Stella steps away. She looks around and people are crying and, 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 and they're singing and rejoicing. And yeah. Stella falls on her knees and praises God for the first time in her life. Yeah. Now, now, the scars are still there. Yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 The pain is still there. Yeah. The hurt is still there. The beatings, they're still in the mind. Yeah. But they no longer dictate your story. Yeah. They no longer dictate her story. Yeah. Instead, they become a testament to your resilience, her resilience. That's right. That's right. It's your capacity to overcome people 
people who are negligent. And they can echo through the chambers of our hearts. You aren't any good. You'll never be successful. Your mother wasn't no good. Your father wasn't no good. And you ain't going to be no good. Your whole family is terrible. Yeah, they say it. He was. Generation after generation. Echoing long after the events had passed on. Yeah, they might have been terrible. Yeah, they might. But that does not dictate who you are. can leave us feeling isolated. But within these words from Psalm lies a great truth. Yeah. A promise of divine closeness and redemption. I am redeemed, oh young yeah. Bought with a price. Oh, Jesus! Oh, Y'all know that song? Yeah. You're never alone when you got Jesus. You're never alone when you feel isolated. Because God is right there with you. He's never going to leave you. He promised that. Huh? Isaiah 41 and 10 says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. He is there. He will never leave you. When you feel the Lord and isolated, God is right there. Number two, healing is a journey. That's right. It's a journey. It's a, a serious act. And it requires courage. You got to face the demon. You got to face the abuse. And understand we are all vulnerable. One way or another. And often you need the willingness of others to seek support. Don't try to fight every battle by yourself. You can't do it by yourself. Even Jesus got help. He said, let me go get me some disciples. He said, oh, Lord. Hey, oh, I can't do this by myself, baby. You need help. You can't walk this, this road by yourself. You need other people. You need other people. That's right. And the road may seem hard and daunting, difficult, but press on. Don't stop. You gotta pave your way with resilience and seek an unwavering presence of a higher power. And then when it comes, be ready to embrace it. Yeah. Hold on to it. And say, I'm not letting go. I don't care about you demon. You can try to chase me. But I'm going into a place where you can't go. You can't survive. Because when I got you, when I got the Lord on my side. Oh, yeah. Psalm 55 and 22. Come on, let me tell you. It says, cast your cares on the Lord. And, and he will sustain you. Yes, he, um, yes. he will never let the righteous <laughs> be shaped. Oh, come on, somebody. And one more thing, the third thing. Oh. Healing doesn't happen overnight. No. It's a process. Mm -hmm. Stella had to go through some stuff. She had to go through therapy and drugs and drinking and bad men and yeah. life situations and, and all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Healing doesn't happen overnight. Uh, there may be some setbacks. Yeah, come, on. Uh, come on, you know you've been trying
trying to stop drinking, you've been trying to stop smoking, you've been trying to stop eating too much, you've probably been abusing yourself. People, you're a people, you know. You're a person who can abuse yourself. Stop abusing yourself. Stop being your worst enemy. You can be the worst enemy to yourself. We, we, we have to stop abusing ourselves. You know that the doctor told you to take your medication. Then don't take it. You know the doctor said don't eat this. You eat it. You know the doctor said you gotta exercise. You don't exercise. You know the doctor said you need to get some fresh air. You don't get no fresh air. You know the doctor said you need to sleep more at night. You stay up all night watching this. You abusing yourself on these different TikToks and Facebook and Instagram all through the night with no stop button. Come on, Pastor. We need help. Yeah. <laughs> Healing doesn't happen overnight, so when you fall back, fall into the yard.
and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Because he got up with all power. All power. Didn't wake 
Amen. Yeah. 